Hello, you lovely bunch of no respawns here. Hope you're doing well. So, in the recent update that just dropped today, we got a load of cool new things in Fallout 76. Now, what I'm going to do, initially I was going to show you through the quest at the top, the Order of the Tadpole, uh, but that is quite an involved quest. So, I'm going to briefly go over it. I can't complete it because it is going to take hours to do, in a good way, but not possibly conducive for a YouTube video. Um, I believe this is how you unlock the backpack as well, which annoyingly I can't show you because I have to complete that quest first. But let me just show you that first. So, uh, the Order of the Tadpole is the Pioneer Scout uh, quest. I don't, I believe, I imagine there'll be a, a next tier which will enable you to kind of advance in rank and unlock new and exciting things. But you start it by just activating... A poster. There we go. Boop. I'm activating a poster, which you get as per just kind of get it from the Adam store, and that'll add it to your map, and you'll be sent to here. Nope, not here. Here, a Pioneer Scout camp, and they'll give you the order of the tadpole quest. Um, this set me to do two dailies: one at Dolly Sod's Wilderness, and another at Kitty Corner Cabins which is to talk to these lovely fellows, and I'm going to explain this personal terminal while I'm doing it. But uh, you did that, very simple, one of them was to gather some nuclear waste, the other was to kill it, bug parts. And those are daily quests, so you can see I've done my dailies for today. And the reason why I'm not going to be showing the rest is because it's going to be quite involved and take ages. Uh, so I have to revive an ally, and also I have to earn Scout World Challenge badges, which I'm going to show you the challenges now are fun to do, but will take me ages to do. And I, w I will not have these done tonight, you know. It's kind of like quite involved challenges. I mean, the, I think the quickest one may be the Code Breaker, but even... That, well, no, because I have to do a nuke. Uh, the Athlete one might be a quick one to do, actually. Um, and I don't even know where to do the Knowledge Exam. So, I don't know if I have to literally do all of those things to complete this quest, or if I can wait until tomorrow and then just do the Pioneer Scout values... Like, just do two of the dailies. I have no idea. So I thought, you know what? I'll leave it. I can show you what one of the backpacks look like. Because one of the skins is available on sale. And I bought it from the Atom store. Uh, so if you go here. Backpack. There we go. That. But I don't actually have a backpack yet. So I can't build it. Or I haven't unlocked it. Uh, but as you can see. In terms of recipes. It's not just steel, leather, cloth. And... It gives you, look, 60 carry weight, which is pretty badass um, for a level 50. I hate when it does that. That is fucking... I don't know if that's just me on my controller or whatever. Anyway, pretty cool. I like that. I did mention that in a previous video, how I think they have more kind of like time sync daily quests. And that's exactly what the Pioneer Scout stuff appears to be. Uh, it's just that it won't really be something I can finish tonight. Um, unless I didn't go to work today, which I did go to work today. So, um, you also get a little bit of a vendor there as well. So, you are here. Where is it? It's down here again. Here, there's a little uh, vendor station just next to uh, kind of a main flagpole. And you can spend uh, currency you get from completing these little dailies. And also, I imagine, getting your badges. And you can buy things. They're pretty cheap. It's things like, uh, you do have one thing, which is the Pioneer Outfits. You can buy the recipes for them. I imagine there's a unique version of it. As well as the plans for, for example, the refrigeration unit for your backpack. And things like that. But they're um, the kind of thing I can imagine you could probably complete in a couple of weeks. If you do the dailies kind of quite regularly. Um, I'm going to wear my survivalist outfit. Because it's bizarrely growing on me. Even though those wellies look like a ball bag. I think it will look really cool with a backpack. I did actually also get the... um. Oh, once, let me show you. I also got the skin, uh, just because just it's on sale in the Atom store, and I've been wanting, like, a cool version of my, uh, la, 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 my Pip-Boy in ages, and I actually quite liked that one, the well-travelled Pip-Boy. It's got stickers and everything over it. It looks really cool, so I was like, right, I'm going to make that. Anywho, so, that's the, uh, the tadpole stuff. I said I won't be doing it, but... It, it's it's more kind of like time sinky dailies. Uh, you've also added said the my personal terminal, which I demonstrated before as well. So it allows you to track your dailies, and also has an automated alerts. Now this pointed to me towards the fact that the legendary vendor is available. I'll get into that in a sec. Now the daily planner is quite cool because it's got the biv stuff. So when I selected this, it immediately 
it, when I clicked it the first time, it added the quest to my misc tab, which is good for Biv because sometimes he wasn't activating for me. And it also records which ones you've done. Now, I am curious whether it... I can actually decide. So, for example, I've got... Um, I don't think I can... Because I w was hoping I could add these ones, like the Chow line. Like, basically, the this is the Camden, uh, which I'm kind of sporadically doing. The Camden Park ones. Yes, it's added, obviously added that to my map, but like I don't think that adds it to your daily tracker. No, so I think the only ones it's going to track are the kind of update ones. So Biv, the scout leader stuff. I don't know if it's... I would be nice if maybe it gave you the ability to kind of say if you a specific daily you wanted to do, whether I can like uh kind of mark it as one that automatically gets added to here but other than that that's a little feature the also you may notice as well that there's no way for me to add a uh, hollow tape for this which is a little bit of a disappointment because it would be nice just for rp purposes to be able to play you know automatron or something on here in terms of a wish list i want for this firstly i love the fact that it doesn't require you to be wired up because a lot of you know trying to wire up a terminal indoors is an absolute bull lake uh, but also it would be nice if they gave you different skins to make it look different and also different styles. So, for example, having one that I can just kind of place on the wall, like a wall-mounted terminal, or maybe a desk-mounted terminal would be quite nice as well. Uh, it's quite nice that they just didn't make it so it was, you know, the normal, the, the one that you can actually have in-game, which is, I've mentioned this before, but, like, the, the worst. Um, it's it's just, it's, it's the wrong height. It's just so stupid. Is that mine or is that, I think that's someone nearby. Yeah, that's someone attacking nearby. All right, so speaking of which, you may notice there were some new icons on the map. Let's just quickly show you the playing, event, playing player vendor. So, vending. Uh, so, here's my little sign. Loot is that way. It's this way, yeah. Because, uh, obviously, I don't want people getting getting stuck. Uh, my camp is so cool. This looks... Oh, look, there's another. Hi. Oh, wait, not that one. I was going to wave to you. Hello. Hello. Hi. Um, I've got my thing muted. Hello. So as this person's demonstrating right here, um, this is the vending machine. Uh, people can just check out and they can fast travel. Sorry about that police siren going near my house. As you know, that's always the thing. Uh, so you wire it up as you would and then you activate it with the switch. It's very, very simple. Uh, uh, maybe if that person buys anything, you get to see how it works. It's pretty straightforward. The camps just get added to you immediately. Someone bought some plasma cores earlier. Uh, so as you can see, if I go in, I can see what I'm selling. So I'm selling meds, plans, ammo, and drink. Um, this person is selling meds, loads of stuff, and it's quite cool. Uh, one thing I really like about this, in the last update, they've removed the ability for people to actually attack your base until you're actually in combat with them. So what that means is, is unless I start, you know, I'm actually tagged as pacifist anyway but unless i start attacking that person they won't be able to damage my base now they can probably pick locks and things like that and steal my shit um as per but they can't you know start trashing things which is quite nice um i believe as well and there's something i was curious about i don't oh hello oh wait one second sorry let me just deal with our friend here do you mind I do like this is a really good place for me getting adhesive by the way this is a this is a good area here um anyway yeah uh so basically i was worried that maybe the the punji boards would because i heard someone got hurt on them and i was worried oh shit that means that maybe that account is attacking them it doesn't so you're good to go uh so there we go if you're paranoid of people destroying your base don't be you're fine um anyway now that person's gone uh so you get it quite straightforward it's automatically added to your uh, camp building thing, and this is the base one, and if you pay 500 atoms, oh wait, no, that's the base one, I lie, that's the base one, and then if you want to play 500 atoms, you can unlock the other four, it's a pack, so it's all four of them, 500, absolutely certain that they'll be adding more, to be utterly frank, the base one is the best looking one anyway, so I just built that one so I could be a little bit different, really straightforward, um, so you get the key, kind of like elevator music, you just find stuff and you just add it. So, for example, I'm going to sell... Um, have I got something I can sell that I think people would like? There we go. Old Man Winter Effigy. Um, um, actually, I don't know because I might actually give that... No, I'm going to give that to my other character. And I might give those to mates. 
so let's find... Um, there we go. Motor assist servos for T-51B arm arm armor. So you just assign. I'm I'm just going to sell stuff at base cost for now. Other than that one legendary there because some unarmed person might want that. Um, but yeah, the, it's pretty straightforward and that's it. If I can cancel it if I want. So if I want to take that off, I can. For fuck's sake. Give us a minute. Give us a minute, everyone. Guys, do you mind? Yes. Oh. Shit. And you. Come here. Come here. Cool. Anyway. I do like the adhesive, so it's alright. Um, yeah. Anyway, what was I saying? Before I was rudely interrupted. Bastards. I need to actually get those good turrets. Um, soon. <laughs> I'll do that afterwards, yeah. Anywho. So, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, you can actually cancel it from your stash as well. So, for example, if I wanted to cancel... Um, I just did, but yeah, you just hit cancel and it removes it. It's pretty straightforward. Um, I had, uh, I was selling a plasma core earlier. Someone bought one. I said I sell them at base cost. And it just, you just immediately get so-and-so bought a plasma core from you. I think things like plans, plasma cores, food, chems are going to be the stuff that sells for a lot. And then the economy will bounce around a little bit on other stuff like... Um, especially legendaries and the light. Is that another one over there? I think that's just the light flashing through. Um, but yeah, no, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Like, I already made 162 caps. And for, like, me especially, just kind of selling water. I'm actually going to sell them at base cost. Um, because, you know, I think realistically I'd recommend selling stuff at base cost or, like, undercutting. So, for example, I'm just going to cancel that now and... Because awesome, I've got like loads of purified water. Actually, I've got loads. So I'm just going to dump off. And what I'm going to do is. I've got so much. Let's put 25 of it in there. Oh, I can just. Oh, I can just. Oh, I can do a thing. Yeah. It's fine. There we go. So you can sell it directly from your inventory as well. So I've got purified water, 25 selling at 20 um, caps a piece. You might even want to potentially do it cheaper if you like. Like think about how much it sells to a vendor and then be like, right, actually I'm going to sell it for like 15, 10 caps a piece. So that way when someone's coming by here, they'll be like, bosh, brilliant, cheap water, saves me the walk uh, back to my camp or whoever. So I really like it. It's a really cool idea. Uh, a couple of things I would like. As you can see, I can see what that person is selling. I can see they're selling that stuff. But I don't know what they're selling specifically and how much for... Obviously, I could go to that guy's camp because they're not very far away. Um, but yeah, in terms of... In terms of like... In terms of comparing my prices to other people, uh, not so much. But overall, it's a really, really good feature. And I'm pretty pleased with what they've done so far. Uh, and then finally... Oh yeah, and I can also just turn it off. So if I just turn that off... It removes me from the map. And then turn it back on again. And it removes me. So pretty straightforward. And I said someone can just fast travel. So it's an amazing feature. I really like this especially. Because that means people can come see my camp. And I don't have to worry about them destroying it now. And also. Which is nice. So if you ever see me on the map. Happily. Definitely come in and say hello. Uh, but also it means that you know. Um, I can see other people's camps. Which is quite nice. And I just think it adds that social element to the game. I've had people come over and they just, you know, wave and it's quite nice. If you do see me in the game, definitely come in and see my camp. Just the record, I do have my chat turned off. So if you're speaking to me, I won't be able to hear. And often I'm recording a video, so I might, you know, continue doing what I'm doing. Uh, and I'm not being rude. I'm just, you know, doing a video. Yeah, got shit to do. Uh, but I will emote and say hello to you. And, you know, be all friendly and all that jazz. It'll be all grand. Ah, uh, yeah, so the final thing they've added is a legendary vendor. Now, I'm not, not actually going to go there because it's all the way over here. And it's not very interesting yet uh, because I think they haven't fully implemented it. Uh, so right now, it's kind of like a... It's not like this. It's like um, just a normal one of those vendor, automated vendor things you see at all of the stations. And you can sell your legendaries to it. And you get a currency called Scrib. And with Scrip, I believe you're going to be able to then buy legendaries or stuff from that legendary vendor. Uh, it's quite useful because obviously a lot of us, you know, just have loads of legendaries. Especially if you're farming low level, you get loads of, like, crappy... I mean, I get shit tons of crappy legendaries. So it might be a better thing to do if you can't be asked, for example, put them in your vendor station. Or if, you know, 
you don't want to sell it to the you know vendor or you know whatever but yeah, it would just be an easy way to dump to dump your legendaries and you know they provide some use uh legendaries sell for different prices so for example i sold two i uh, just um two one star range weapons level 45 so i don't know if level 50 does a little bit more but for example this when i checked the price was like 45 uh 40 i think of the script and then like this thing here was like 20 or 30 or something like that. So I think it's tied to the item level plus the star level as well. Oh, incidentally, I really like this weapon. I only just got it, which is why it wasn't assigned to my favourites. But it will be, because it's really, really good. Um, but yeah, I don't have much to say on that yet, because I don't know what they're going to be adding. But overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, I'm going to leave that there, because obviously um, this is more just a kind of quick information video, rather than me kind of showing off the quest. And obviously most of you will be just be doing this stuff yourself anyway. Um, I will be doing a build video, so I actually want to um, do a kind of a cool... Oop, um, a kind of cool little kind of player vendor... Thing, uh, later down the line. I've seen a few people doing a few ideas. Um, I've, I've seen one on Reddit what they were doing. They were doing like a... And someone actually had done like a drive through on Reddit. I don't think it was actually... I think this was in preparation uh, for the play of ending. But it was it was quite a cool quite a cool idea. Our uh, Wasteland Doverkin actually, special shout out for them. She sent me over a picture of hers and it actually looks like a proper um, like a proper kind of like rest stop on the side of the road so that's pretty cool i don't know what i'm gonna try and do yet i'm gonna build it on my other character not this guy because i don't want to tear down the base uh, but we'll actually have a play around and we'll see but until that point uh, you guys enjoy the rest of your week i will also have let's play videos up so i'm gonna do another don't star video i've had loads of other new games to play last week so i didn't get time to do it and I'm also going to be doing um, another Fade to Silence video because that video did quite well. And it will be good fun, I think, to play that again. Uh, but until that point, you guys enjoy the rest of your week. Uh, if you have any cool uh, builds that you've done for your kind of like trading post settlements, uh, trading post camps, uh, post if you have any pictures or screenshots, screen pictures and the same fucking thing, Davey. You know what I mean? Screenshots or videos, uh, comment uh, in the comments or send me a twi um, poster on Twitter and kind of tag me and I'll definitely have a look because I'm really curious to see what people are doing. This for me is the first stage in getting that kind of more social uh, kind of multiplayer aspect to the game, which I think has, has been lacking a little bit in terms of motivation, and I'm quite excited for it. But anyway, you guys enjoy the rest of the week, and I'll talk to you fantastic bunch soon. You take care.